they tried to warn us. But we didn't listen. And today, we're gonna take a look at some creators who were brave enough to bring Five Nights at Freddy to life. We'll learn the process and stories of how they create these characters. Take it from here, Will. Gmail 99 Let's go back to the year 2015, when a young fan happens upon the mysterious and captivating universe of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like many of us, he is so taken in by this terrifying and exciting world that an idea begins to take shape inside his head. This idea would grow into a journey that we now know as Gmail 99. Whenever he visited local pizzerias, his imagination ran wild. After all, the sights and sounds of these places echo the FNAF universe, making him think of animatronics in each of them. Of course, this only fueled his dream of bringing to life these terrifying animatronics. But this was easier said than done. Fast forward to 2021, when he found himself in an electronics class, talking with a friend about none other than Five Nights at Freddy's. They were asking themselves if there would ever be a real-life Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, complete with life-sized animatronics. But as many of us in the past, they realized that this would be unlikely. But at that exact moment, he realized that he had seen several videos of real animatronics, and he knew a minimum of how they work. So why not create these animatronics himself? So this set him off on his ambitious journey. He decided he wanted to focus on the FNAF 1 and 2 gang first. So he began researching and following projects from creators like Vomited Thoughts, Deregula Sauce, and Connor Lachinsky, absorbing and learning everything he could from these projects. He first created a wooden prototype endoskeleton that ended up being dismantled. This project taught him a lot about what to do and what not to do when building an animatronic. But the most important thing he learned from this was never give up, even in moments of frustration. He knows that the construction time of an animatronic is determined by the resources and knowledge that one has at that moment. But he is finishing high school and wants to go to the University of Mechatronics, where he can learn professional concepts and methodologies that will help him build robots faster and more advanced. Building these animatronics is a labor of love. For the FNAF 1 characters, he uses mechanisms inspired by the Chuck and Cheese Cyberamix configuration which is a very interesting type of mech. And for the FNAF 2 characters, he has plans to use advanced servo motors and actuators in addition to pneumatics. But there are other projects that he has in mind. In the future, he plans to create animatronics from various fan games like Five Nights at Candy's, FNAF Plus, Juniors, The Walton Files, and more. Gmail 99's journey is an inspiring tale of dreams and determination, and you should definitely join him on his adventure by joining his Discord server and following him on TikTok, Twitter, and Reddit, where he keeps everyone updated. Vomited Thoughts This project has a fantastic backstory because it comes from a place of love. Vomited Thoughts, or VT for short, began two years ago when he decided to make a rough bonbon animatronic for Halloween for his little brother. Sadly, he wasn't able to finish it in time, but because of this project, he learned a lot of things that helped him make his way to the journey he's on. While the animatronic bonbon was not ready for the time he had wanted it, he decided to finish it after, and this project introduced him to the CAD program Fusion 360 which he still uses now. And after finishing Bon Bon, he decided to continue creating these animatronics. So he started working on Circus Baby. After all, Circus Baby is an eccentric character, and her unique faceplate mechanism was a challenge he couldn't resist. So in the following years, he breathed life into a whirlwind of projects, each showcasing his evolving skills. But the learning didn't stop there. The next character he tackled was Glamrock Chica, chosen for her smaller size and presumed simplicity. And with two years of experience, this project was a smooth ride, in contrast to his earlier efforts. At the same time, he embarked on several experimental ventures, including a secret puppet project involving cable mechanisms. Among all his creations, Mangle holds a special place in his heart. It was his first attempt at a fully developed animatronic, but due to financial and physical constraints, he had to pause the project. He plans, however, to bring Mangle back to life in a smaller form. Despite his growing expertise, creating an animatronic is a lengthy process. His day job often limits the time he can dedicate to his projects. Long hours at work and commuting leave him drained. Still, he pushes forward, using every spare moment to work on his beloved animatronics. The creative process starts with research and planning. He gathers reference material, lays out the motion, and places cylinders to act as joints. As the project evolves, adjustments are made. He buys some of these parts from Amazon. The other animatronic parts are 3D printed. To bring his creations to life, he uses a program called Batango. It's a free software that he uses to control the servos. 
He used to wire the servos manually to an Arduino on a breadboard. But after learning to make a PCB, he now designs and orders them for his robots. Like many of us, VT loves the Jurassic Park animatronics, but his favorite animatronic is Johnny Five from the film Short Circuit. Because he and his dad love the movie, and if you love animatronics as much as we do, be sure to subscribe to Fast Fast Facts. Aside from animatronics, he also dabbles in other projects, such as a robot camera arm. But his true passion always leads him back to animatronics. You can follow his journey under the moniker Vomited Thoughts on his YouTube channel, he has a series called Parts and Service, a nod to the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Here, he documents the process of assembling and disassembling his animatronics, offering insights into his thought process and a peek into the intricate world of the animatronic creation. So, the journey of vomited thoughts continues. What started as a Halloween project has become an endless quest full of challenges, discoveries, and sheer love for bringing animatronic creatures to life. De regular Sauce Meet Atreyu but you might know him better as Deregular Sauce on YouTube. He's a self-taught mechanical engineer, a cosplayer, and an artist. Ever since he was nine, he's been making props and costumes, bringing his favorite characters to life. Over the past five years, he's learned many skills, like robotics, foam fabrication, 3D modeling, 3D printing, and basic engineering. He's now aiming to take his skills to the next level by going to college for mechanical engineering. He has many exciting projects, but we'll dive deep into his biggest project to date, the Glam Rock Freddy suit. Inspired by the character from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, this suit is Atreyu's most popular and biggest creation. He poured around 1,100 hours of work and about 4K in materials and tools into this project, aiming to rival even Disney's mascot characters. Standing at 7 feet tall, the suit boasts functioning animatronics and puppeteerable parts in the head, chest, and hands. And since this version of Freddy loves to talk, Atreyu added a voice amp and a custom soundboard with original voice acting so he can interact with people at events. This wasn't an easy project. It marked his first fully 3D printed suit, completely designed on his own. His only prior experience was designing and printing a large-scale cosplay piece, the Springtrap's head. He started the project in December 2021, modeling each piece side by side with the official game model for accuracy. He invested in three Ender 5 printers to speed up the printing process. These printers were a learning curve as they constantly broke down, but he now knows most of the common problems and solutions for future projects. After the printing came the meticulous process of sanding, priming, and filling each part, around five times each, until they were smooth enough. The painting stage took another five months. Atreyu decided to go with a slightly darker blue compared to the in-game model, but he added a touch of his own creativity with UV reactive face paint. He hand-painted each part to add small bits of wear and tear, just like the in-game model, and then coated everything with an automotive-grade clear coat. Once the painting was done, he turned his attention to the mechanical aspects. He started with the puppeteer, assembling the helmet and jaw piece that moves the suit's jaw when he moves his own. He then set up the pulley systems in the fingers that allow them to move when he moves his fingers. To bring Freddy's eyes to life, he programmed an Arduino to mimic the character's idle eye movements from the game. Then he installed multicolor LEDs to change the eyes from yellowish white to purple or bright blue and added spring-loaded ears for a bouncing effect, just like in the game. Adding his own twist, Atreyu designed a foam metal plate to fit into the chest hatch. It features a speaker, a compartment for extra parts, and a holder for his themed business cards. The hatch itself is also powered by an Arduino, with a hidden button in his hand to open and close it. After seven months of hard work, Freddy was finally ready to rock and roll. And rock and roll he did, racking up over 35 million views across Atreyu's social media platforms and YouTube. Atreyu has more public appearances planned and secret projects that he's not ready to reveal just yet. He also plans to gradually upgrade the suit and add paint details to mimic Freddy's shattered form. So keep an eye out for updates. For this next part of the video, we will cover some new projects from creators we've covered before and see what they've been up to. Robotica Creatronics Robotica Creatronics is a Brazilian-based YouTube channel created by ELY Robotica and dedicated to the construction and engineering of DIY animatronics. Specifically, 
FNAF animatronics. They began this journey in 2005, but didn't upload their first video to YouTube until 2015. One of the first projects they worked on was an amazing arachnid animatronic that was entirely controlled by a PS2 controller. Still, their most popular projects are their FNAF animatronics, and the creative and resourceful ways they implement to build them. It is incredible to see how they use everyday objects and materials, like styrofoam, tap, and cardboard boxes instead of using more sophisticated equipment like advanced 3D printers to create the animatronics components. Just take a look at how they created their first FNAF-based project. Using an old CD, an empty case of an Xbox game, cardboard, wire, paper, and masking tape as their main materials, they were able to create an incredible Freddy Fazbear animatronic. The animatronic was programmed so it could be controlled by a complex remote controller. And the team built a special mask rig, so the animatronic's movements can be replicated with the movements of the puppeteer controlling the mask. One of the most popular projects among their FNAF animatronics is their full-size Bonnie animatronic. This project is so unique because it is huge and its movements are very impressive. The animatronic can simulate playing the guitar and several other movements, like tilting its body and eye movements. They also created a full-sized Foxy animatronic that is also controlled with a PS2 controller. This is another impressive animatronic that is capable of making several movements, like its hands, torso, head, and eyes. They have also created an amazing Springtrap animatronic mask. This is probably their most complex project of all, because this animatronic is so unique and can be fragmented into many different parts. The best of all is that each part can function separately. Since we covered their channel last year, they have continued to create several fantastic FNAF-inspired animatronics, like this Chica animatronic mask that goes with a special suit, and this updated Springtrap mask that would terrify anyone who came across it. All of these animatronics are hand-painted and the process is documented step-by-step -step on ELY's YouTube channel. So again, hurry up, subscribe, and take a look at how they create all of these fantastic animatronics. JDS, Jorge Davo. When Jorge Davo uploaded the first video to his JDS channel, people lost their minds wondering if this animatronic was real or fake. It turned out that the animatronic was 100% real, and a work in progress of Davo, a huge animatronic fan that had been interested in owning an animatronic since he was a boy. So he began creating animatronics by reverse engineering some old showbiz pizza animatronics that he had tracked down to the old toy museum in Mexico City. He began visiting these animatronics to study them after the owner refused to sell them to him. So, by studying and measuring them, he was able to build and program Fats and Mitzi Mozzarella. He then contacted the one and only Aaron Fector to see if he could sell him the latest coverings for the animatronic. After he finished his animatronics, Jorge began creating videos for TikTok. And in one of his videos, a user commented asking if he could build a Freddy Fazbear animatronic. And Jorge quickly got to work and began posting the project updates for all of his fans on TikTok and on both of his YouTube channels, which is where the mysterious video came from. He then moved to the Netherlands from Mexico, but was able to finish Freddy before he left and the work he put into it is fantastic. Since then, he has continued to create amazing animatronics, like this Donald Duck animatronic, or the Troll King from the Enchanted Fairy Tale Forest in one of our favorite parks, Efteling. Jorge's work continues to be astounding, and we can't wait to see what he comes up with next, so don't miss it and be sure to follow him. DL Electronics and Mechanics We have talked countless times about DL Electronics and Mechanics on Fast Pass Facts, but we must talk about them again because they have some amazing FNAF-inspired projects. They are a group of individual mechanics, programmers, and small technical enterprises that have managed to bring animatronics like Funtime Freddy, Chica, Funtime Foxy, and more to life. These animatronics are some of the best unofficial animatronics made. They have fantastic programming, LED lights, and some of them can even walk. In our latest update of this group, we discussed how DL Electronics was planning to create animatronics that could walk, talk, track people, sing, dance, and have sound recognition. They attempted to develop a system to make them bipedal, but after several unsuccessful attempts, they decided to revert to the original version, which uses wheels for movement. Recently, they have created animatronics like Sundrop and Spring Bonnie, which can not only walk, but also have the versatility to be used as animatronic heads. In addition, these animatronics have a wide range of articulation. Lastly, they have also created Toy Chica, an animatronic that can move thanks to a wheeled base 
and the best part is that it can easily detach from it. Currently, DL Electronics and Mechanics are working on reworking the animatronics for their side project, Gary's Pizza. They continue to demonstrate their passion for Five Nights at Freddy's and their dedication to creating new animatronics that will never cease. So, be sure to follow them. This is merely the beginning and we plan to dive deeper into the world of FNAF with more videos and projects in the future. If you are a FNAF creator or know one, we'd love to hear from you. Please share your insights or suggestions in the comments below.